Good morning. I thought I'd show you how to. I made this little visible gift box. I like the acetate belly around the middle. Um, and it's for one of these little candles I bought. Um, these are oh, most of the stuff I've got from last year that I just didn't get around to using. Um, so it's a Wickford and Co. and this one's Mango Coat Coconut Cooler. So it's just a nice little box. Yeah. Okay. So it's really easy to make as well. So you will need, I've gone ahead and done some things just to start, you know, getting everything to, together so that the video isn't quite too, quite so long. So for your base, you need a piece of card that measures 9.8 centimetres square. Then you want to score a two centimetre border all around the edges. Yeah. Fold and burnish those lines in. And then cut your angle from the gluing tabs there. And then also from the outer edge of the gluing tabs as well. I'm going to do the, the top part of the box with you just so I do it start to finish. So that's your base. So as I say, 9.8 square with a two centimetre border all round. Fold, burnish, um, cut in your gluing tabs and then add your paper panels, which are 1.5, uh, sorry, 1.75 times 5.5 centimetres. And remember, this is going to be the base. So make sure your panels are facing upwards as you lay them down okay so that's that one okay for the top we need a square of card measuring 10.2 centimeters that two millimeters makes a difference so make sure it's 10.2 and we're going to do a 2.1 centimeter border all the way around this one again that one millimeter does make a difference so it's worthwhile doing it helps the lid slip on the box properly so to prepare this, we cut along the rectangle line on both sides, following the score line. And then we wedge out on both sides to create the glue and panel. Go. Now, as this is the lid, you have the four paper panels for around the edges, which measure two by 5.8 centimetres. And you have four of those. And you also need a 5.8 centimetre square for the actual top of the lid. OK, so I'll go through this side with you now. And what I'm doing is just arranging all the pieces of panel paper up the right way um, before I try and stick them down. I'll stick the central one down first because obviously it's a square. It doesn't matter which way around this one goes. Centre bit done. But rather than just a, a box that you can't see what's in, um, which I did a lot of last year for the Christmas build up, I um I wanted to do something so you can see what's in so you don't have to take the box apart you know you don't have to open the box completely just to see what's in it helps you to figure out what's inside of each of your boxes when you're preparing all these things and it just looks nicer for whoever you give it to that they can actually see what's inside of the box you can always um tie a ribbon around it um 
because that candle's quite heavy because it's in the jar I have some circular mm, sort of clear tape tab tag things um is that one there yeah so yeah I have some of these sort of circular stickers that are clear which is probably why you can't see them which I'm probably going to attach to the sides of the lid to hold it in position um, because the jaw is quite heavy so it kind of pulls the lid off as you pick it up so for safety reasons it's probably a good idea but you could always do that with a ribbon or you could do a belly band going all the way around the box um, may I'm just showing you how to make the basic box You know, I like figuring out how to make things. I'm not so inclined towards decorating them. I just enjoy figuring out how to make them. Okay, so now we need, I'll take these all off, but I'll leave them here for you. So that you can talk base, paper panels for the lid goes with that one, paper panels for the base goes with that one. Okay, so... I'll take you through the acetate next. You need a piece of acetate. It doesn't have to be wonderful. I just use wherever I have. And it measures 8.8 centimetres by 23.8 centimetres, okay? And I've already, because it's very hard to do anything on camera with acetate, I've gone ahead and prepared it. So I scored it at 5.7, 11.4, 17.1, and 22.8 then I folded those score lines so all you have is a square piece of acetate with what would be a gluing tab though we're not really going to use it as that it will but it won't I'll show you in a sec okay so you can go ahead and do that I'm just going to prepare my base and my lid ready to take the acetate I'm just putting glue on each of the glue and tabs. On both parts. And now get your corners really nice it is quite important probably more so with this one because there's so little of the box it's mainly the acetate so whatever you can do to make it um, really nice the better I mean you could use um, decorated acetate as well uh, I don't have any. Um, I know you can get the snowflake ones and things. Um, but I use so much acetate, I just use the regular clear. Yes, that's my lid. And I can tell that by the panels around the side. This is the base. The new tripod that came this morning that I'm trying out. Okay, I think that's um, pretty good. So what happens is we're going to put some tape inside, but the acetate is literally just going to sit inside of this base. with the, what would have been the glue and flap tucked inside. Quite difficult to do when it's all folded up. But it'll 
set itself in there we go right so that's literally just going to sit inside your box we are going to put some tape in the in the sides at the base to hold it in position and we're going to put a teeny little bit of tape just at the top of the glue and panel there and the bottom of the glue and panel where it's hidden by the lid in the base of the box just to hold it in position so we'll do that first as I say it's just a tiny little bit of tape we're going to use if you've got something that won't show great um, but with acetate that's virtually impossible so I'm just using a little bit of narrow double sided tape here and here I'm not sure you'll be able to see with it being acetate so just a little tiny bit right on the ends I'm going to remove the carrier paper and I'm going to, it's difficult to say off camera, never mind on camera, then I'm going to line this up with the final score line, at least with acetate, you can keep taking it off until you get it in the right place. That's okay, and now the top wet. There we go, right. So that's the only thing holding that in position, okay. But as I said, we are gonna stick it inside the base of the box. Okay, and it's quite easy to do because you just put tape in and squash this down, I'll show you. Okay, so I'm going to use a slightly wider tape just because it's easier to manage inside the box. And I'm literally just tearing pieces off and putting them inside the rim of the box. I do all four sides. Um, and just run the tape over the top of the glue and tabs inside here. And just to make it easier because it's going to be fiddly getting it out from in there, getting the carrier paper off, I'm just going to burnish the tape down. I'm going to remove the carrier paper from all four sides. I don't know if you can see this, but there's, I've got a little piece about this wide on the inside of all four sides. Now with the acetate, just scrunch it together. Just don't damage it and then set it into one side and then basically just let it go and it will find the corners for you just make sure it's straight and tucked right into the bottom of your box before you secure it to the tape inside it's usually a good idea to put your lid on just to check yeah that looks straight okay so this is what it looks like at the minute. I don't know if you can see it's not, it's bowed out inside the thing. But that's fine because all we need to do now is burnish it down to the tape and it fits exactly inside the base. But as I say, make sure you've got it just all the way down before you do this. There you go. Now we just need to drop in our candle and pop our lid on and there you go there's your little box i'm really pleased with these i think they're rather nice okie okay, cookie